I'm fucking with it. I think season three is about to be dope. Hopefully, Bel Air, if they're going. So this is going to be during the summer. We got the school year. Now we're going into the summer. We can get another school year. Hopefully, if they do this right, we can even get some college years out of Bel Air. I'm thinking maybe five seasons. Let next year be like graduating. Yeah, let next season four be graduation. And then season five, give us give us at least a year of college. Give us a year of college. Maybe even two years of college. That's what I like to see. But all right, let's jump back around in here and see what the hell's really going on. But we know Will and them gotta get a job. But we'll talk about his pops, oh Lou. The like. These little spots right here, you got to be careful when you go in here. Always, and this is in California too, you got to watch your back. You can't be in there with Carlton, y'all just hanging out. You got to be aware of your surroundings at all times. What is this? Bacon chai avocado? Ain't nobody ordering that out of here. I'm trying to see how much some Gatorades cost. Oh, well. The actress who played Carrie Milgram is in season three. I think I I think I got a video where I was talking about the new cast members that were going to be in this. What up, Torian? Hey, real quick, since Torian is in here, I'm going to show you all what I was talking about. I went back and I was watching my finale video. And uh, this is what Torian said in the finale. Toria said, and I think season three should focus on summer in Bel Air. This is he's one of the first people in there. You know, he does his little early bird check-in. But yeah, that's what he said right there. I think season three should focus on the summer in Bel Air. Well, we got the summer. And we got Will missing shots again. Remember, Will was missing uh so you said that uh, on the live stream for the finale, uh, episode 10, season two. So we got Will starting off missing some shots. Now, of course, in the in the trailer that they laid out, this is further on in the trailer, but I moved it up to the front because I thought it was more significant. And then it'll just be like, okay, we got the dark side. Now let's go into the bright side. So it starts off with, hey, Will, make them shots. Come on, Smith. Hello? I left behind basketball. That was my way out the hood. That was the only good thing in my life. And I see my son making the same damn mistakes as me, and there's nothing I could do about it. Imagine you out getting something to eat with your cousin. And your pops is in here like this. Will? What you doing here? We don't know where this nigga Lou been. We seen Lou pop up one episode now this nigga Lou, all of a sudden, he in the city talking about, Will, is that you? He talking about, Lou, is that you, nigga? You the one that left. Now, Lou been in the streets. Lou's a little bit different than Lou was in the original, the OG. This Lou is in the streets. Now, allegedly, he was a hooper, and he's about to throw his whole life away in the streets, and he's seeing his son chasing these dreams. Now, I don't know what he's getting at because Will has a different background. Will is with Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil is going to make sure he's straight. Now, Uncle Phil is a better uncle than me because Will would have been home. Season one, episode two, Will would have went, he would have went back to, where were you from, Philly? You can take your ass back to Philly, boy. <laughs> you not fucking up what I done built out here because you was over there getting into it with niggas. Now, Lou's talking, uh, talking about, man, I almost threw my life away. Lou? I left behind basketball. That was my way out the hood. That was the only good thing in my life. And I see my son making the same damn mistakes as me, and there's nothing I could do about it. I mean, Lou is giving him good advice not to just chase after basketball. But let's be real. At this point, look how Will is living. Will has an opportunity to chase the basketball dream. 
he has the security at home. Like he's living with Uncle Phil. He ain't living with Uncle Mo. If it's Uncle Mo, you need a job. You need to go to school and graduate. And if you got time to hoop, you got time to hoop. But we ain't we ain't got time for you to be hooping. If you got time, you can hoop. Now, Lou got to understand, he just came to the house last season. He's seen how Uncle Phil is living. Let, let Will live a little bit. I get it. You threw your life away because you was in the streets and you thought basketball was going to be your out. But if basketball don't work for Will, he's still going to one of the top prestigious high schools in the nation. That alone is going to get him into whatever college he wants to go to. Well, not whatever college because we know that uh, Carlton's trying to get into Princeton. But come on, Lou. What y'all think? Should Will focus on basketball or should he put the basketball dream behind him and just go to school and live a life as Uncle Phil would want him? Like a regular, well, Uncle Phil wanted to play basketball though. Uncle Phil, like he's supporting him. So I don't, I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta see this in context. I gotta see what else they were talking about because it can't just be basketball where he's like, man, don't throw your life away. Maybe, oh, it might just be because of Doc. Lou, I left behind basketball. That was my way out the hood. That was the only good thing in my life. And I see my son making the same damn. Oh wait, he said he left basketball. Behind basketball. That was Lou. I left behind basketball. That was my way out the hood. That was the only good thing. I left behind basketball. That was my only way out the hood. So what? Oh, okay. I get it now. Will's missing shots. And that's why they say, come on, Smith, make those shots. So Will is thinking about quitting. All right, my bad, Lou. My bad, Lou. I thought you were telling Will to leave basketball alone. My bad. That's my comprehension. I wasn't paying attention. So Will must be like, man, fuck this basketball, man. <laughs> it's a too much pressure on me. Complaining and crying. It's always the niggas that ain't never had nothing that's doing all the bitching and griping. Mm, I can't make the shots, man. It's too much pressure. Will, you want to play basketball. Don't throw your dream away. All right, so Will, your daddy is right. All right, Lou, my bad. Respect. Apologies. What's up, Bonnie? We over here trying to figure this thing out. Come on, Smith. Lou? I left behind basketball. That was my way out the hood. That was the only good thing in my life. And I see my son making the same damn mistakes as me, and there's nothing I could do about it. Okay, so he's telling Will to stay in basketball. Fuck with Doc. Okay, 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 okay. So we are we giving Lou? All right, since we, we got a better understanding now. Are we giving Lou father of the week? We giving Lou father of the episode? What we giving Lou? We got to give him some kind of credit. He showed back up and did what a dad was supposed to do. I'm giving Lou, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving him a, a, a smooth, a smooth. I'm, I'm, giving, him, I'm giving him a 6.5 on the father scale. 6.5 on the father. This is what a real father is supposed to do. Come back and tell your son, man, listen, I ain't going to be around long, but don't give up on your dreams, son. I didn't look at me. I'm a piece of shit. I'm giving him a six, six and a half, maybe. Pause. What else we got for Will? We know Will going to get the ladies, though. You guys are going to be very excited for what I got planned. A lot of free time. You might want to pick up some hours at the country club. Why? You could use a job too. So Carlton got lucky charms. That's a good choice for cereal in the morning. Gives you all the energy you need. But we got Will. He got some free time. Oh, so he may have either basketball season. Well, it is the summer. So Will just got some free time. So he's like, man, get a job. Definitely need to get a job, man. Get a job. I started working at 15. I worked from 15 all the way up till 20, 15 to 24. 
stopped working. Well, no, I worked up until the military. So I worked from 15 to 32. I stopped working at 32 till 30. Yeah, I stopped working at 32 to 38. And I'm about to have me a year in October of being back on the working force. And let me tell you, it was it was a good idea because I get to get over here and travel. But let me tell you, I hate working. Yeah, you know I mean, if I could if I could stay in Europe without having to work, oh, I would. <laughs> I would. But I got to work so I can stay over here, have my sofa agreement. They don't kick me out the country. But they got some free time. And you know, Carlton, Carlton's like, man, I got an allowance. Will came over here. Will's messing stuff up. Why do I got to get a job? Why don't y'all just look out for me? But they got to go to the country club. Clock in some hours. Pick up some hours at the country club. Why? You could use a job too. Wait, what? Oh, to the pit. Dang, Jeffrey Clean. The sweatpants with the shirt tucked in. I'm going to have to pull that move off one of these days. Summer is the season of change. And it's time to level up. Now, who is this? Is this the, the lifeguard that he's kissing? Because she's talking about summer is the time of change. Time to level up. Summer is the season of change. And it's time to level up. So Will got the new lifeguard. Or is that old girl? Now, nah, the lifeguard is someone new, ain't it? Bell Air season three cast. Yeah, Vic Mensa and Elisa Pasquil Pina to season three cast. Uh, let me see. Oh, I just said she'll be a season regular. No, it ain't no Lisa. Lisa wasn't built like that. I think it's 10 episodes this season, too. No, I don't. That's Lisa. That ain't Lisa. Maybe it is Lisa. I can't tell. And then who was she there? Oh, let me see something. Oh, well, yeah. Well, never mind. You right. Lisa, I forgot Lisa was the damn swimmer. Lisa was a swimmer. Okay, so she is the lifeguard at the country club. All right, it makes sense. I was trying to think about because later on in the trailer, we hear her tell Will, you don't know what you want. So I was thinking Will was fucking with somebody else at the damn uh country club. Oh, he may be fucking with the girls that are coming to the oh Will, you a sly devil, you. Will's a sly devil, you. Oh, so Alicia is Carlton's. Oh, okay, in the rehab. All right, all right. We'll get to Carlton next. All right. I literally, this is my first time. Why? I mean, I cut it up, but this is my first time watching the trailer today. So I haven't watched it all the way through. I just been cutting it up like an hour ago. Right when you seen it go live is when I got finished cutting up the trailer. So I haven't really watched it all the way through. Plus, all of my stuff has moved around. So, all right. So Lisa is the lifeguard. 
Lisa and Will, they're back together 100% now. Hopefully we ain't fighting over girls this season. Because, you know, that's one thing that they like to do on here. When's the next time we see Will? Okay, there she go. Yeah, so that's that's her. Yeah. All right, there we go. So that's her. Alicia is her. Got it. Got it. All right, so check. We got that down. See, here we go. Now, look, she's going to tell Will, you don't know what you want. You don't know what you want. want. And then there goes old girl, Doc's, what, niece? Damn, man. When I tell you my high school life wasn't anything like this, I think I had like two... Two, maybe one and a half, maybe quality girls that was like really well. I mean, a couple of chicks was feeling me, but I wasn't really fucking with. I was just trying to graduate. But life wasn't this sweet in high school, man. I was getting in fights and brawls and stuff. I didn't have time to talk to the girls, man. You gotta watch your back in there, man. These dudes living the life. Will don't know who does he want. He don't know if he want Lisa that's want to be with Jackie. Who y'all thinks a better pick for Will, though? With Lisa's more stable, Jackie, she does have a, a crooked uncle that kind of could, you know what I'm saying, fuck you over. But at the same time, he could make you some money if you got the right people in your corner, like with Uncle Phil coming and do this deal. If I'm Will as a like as an adult, I'm like, man, go with Lisa. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have fun with Jackie, but go with Lisa. Your life is gonna be less stressful. You're gonna actually be able to make something out of yourself because she's gonna be there to push you. She's going to actually encourage you and motivate you to do some shit. Her pops is actually legitimate also. Yeah, you got to go with Lisa. Jackie will have you in the hood stabbed up. Jackie will have you in the hood robbed. Jackie will have you in a $5 million gymnasium getting screwed by her uncle because he didn't did some backdoor deals some fake nil deals and you only getting 10 percent out of the cut he getting 90 you gotta go with lisa even though lisa used to fuck with your cousin that's the only thing though it's just some wild shit though but i guess this is how rich people live put a put a put a two in the chat if you a regular folk Put a put a five in the chat if you live this kind of lifestyle. See me, I'm a two. I, I live the regular modest lifestyle. Seven niggas in a three bedroom house. That's how I lived. That's how I came up. You feel me? <laughs> One bathroom. That's how I came up. I don't know about this. Everyone having their own bedroom type shit until I was a what a junior in high school. We finally got a piece of the pie. But before that, I was just a regular. I was in. The, I didn't know nothing about this. I knew if a family member talked to a girl, we couldn't talk to a girl. That ain't right. We didn't live. This is rich people shit. This is that Bel Air shit. I grew up in the South Side of Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> we didn't do this. You may have fought your cousin, but you didn't have beef with your cousin. That's rich people shit. See us? We all we got. Because we may fight at the house. When we go to school, we got to fight together. Yeah, see, Lisa, they used to be, I can't wait to Bel Air get back on, man. Finally, it's a real television. You know what I mean? We got Bel Air. Then we got Ghost right after it. Man, 
it's a cool little summer though. We do we do got some shows. We do got some shows. Damn, I ain't know there's a lot of regular folk. You know what I mean? Let me see. You don't know what you want. I'm not just some. Tr now we do see. And you always told me I was in control of my own destiny. I'm trying to pause it. All right. Who y'all think is racing? Well, it looks like Will over here in the passenger seat. Who racing, uh, racing the SRT? Who is this, Jazz? Or uh, what's the name? And what what are they doing racing cars anyway? They got money. That's what I don't get. These dudes are okay. You got a job. You trying to make some extra money, man? Just go to Uncle Phil. Hey, Uncle Phil, man, can you hold a dollar? Can a nigga borrow a pencil, Uncle Phil? We not about to be racing these SRTs. These ain't even Hellcats. It ain't even got a spoiler on here. This is the generic version. What are we racing for? Then they run in front of the police. What are we doing this season, man? How did we get there? This is what Uncle Phil meant when he told Will. Leave that Philly shit in Philly, man. You in Bel Air, man. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. You got Carlton doing. Listen, yeah, Carlton was on drugs, but Carlton was a functioning addict. I, yeah, it's bad being on drugs, but he was a functioning addict before Will came. He was the top of the class. No issues, no stress. He was bobbing out, you know what I'm saying, with his white niggas. You know what I mean? And then Will came in here and turned this man's life upside down. Took his girl, got him addicted to Adderall. Jeez Louise, Will. Did I mention Will took his girl? Will took his girl. As a 16, 17 year old, that's probably one of the toughest things to deal with. But you want to deal with your heartbreak early in life. You want to get that like around between the ages, maybe 15 and 19. You want to get that out the way early. Because if you get that around like your mid-20s, it's going to hurt you even more. You ain't going to have to recover. You will be in the house crying like a little bitch. You will be taking off work. You'll be missing days crying. Did I mention crying like a little? So you want to get your heart broken early in life so you can be able to function. And wait a minute. Hold on. Give me one second. Why? Why is Jazz next to my boy Callie Carl's girl? Why he this close to Callie Carl's girl? Carlton just got her out of rehab, and we already got Jazz pushing up on her. See, we're gonna have to figure out what the hell's going on. Jazz think because he pulled Hillary, he could just talk to anybody's girl. He been hanging with Will too much. I'm the only one that peeped this. Hey. Is something off like, or, or, or is this normal here? This must be some rich people shit. Is this a normal way to stand next to your homeboy's girl? Your chest on her arm? Some man, you got your girl right here, man. What you doing? Come on, Jazz. What's going on here? We supposed to be talking about Will. 
Yeah, Big C's, Cali Carl, man. Y'all forgot who Cali Carl was. They running from the law. And the last thing we see, it looks like they put his bags out. Like, Will, you done fucked up one too many times. It's time for you to go home, brother. It is time for you to go home. What y'all think, man? They kicking Will out the house? Or they telling Will he got to... He got to go get his own place now. What we think? The last thing we see, Will, then we're going to carry on because we already have 45 minutes. They didn't put Will out the house. Hey, Will, you too reckless. Will may have lost his job at the damn um, country club. No, I ain't tripping, man. I just know. I know when somebody pushing up on your girl. I used to be the pusher upper. You know what I mean? <laughs> I used to be the one to push up on the girls. Because I look at it like this. Me and him wasn't that cool. I knew the nigga, but shit, he went to jail. Oh, well, man. I ain't, you know, I ain't hang out with him. I hooped with him a couple times, but I ain't nigga had a dude number. <laughs> hey, I ain't know him like that, big dog. I just think they kicking Will out. Uh, Carlton's ex. I, I don't know because we're gonna we're gonna talk about Carlton next. Put him out. He'll go to Jazz's spot. But man, I don't know, man. If I'm Jazz, I'm looking at Will because remember, Will used to stay at Jazz's house. And after that one episode, hell, it was the episode one, wasn't it? Episode one. <laughs> after I seen how dirty this nigga Will is, oh, ain't no way he can live in my crib, man. I, like I'm. Like, come on, let's be real. My resume is nice. Let's just say I'm jazz. Man. I thought somebody had broken the compound. But let's say I'm jazz. I'm knocking down like Hillary. I got some quality coming through the crib. You know what I mean? I got a little bit of money. Will over here, he got noodles all on the table. He got them stanking ass basketball shoes in here smelling like a damn gym. I can't use my couch. I got that. I got an 86-inch TV in the living room. All right, hey, bro, you got to get up off that couch or something. Get an air mattress, sleep behind the couch or something, man. You can't be sleeping on the pullout every night. I want the pullout to be cushioned for when I get on there. Like, my couch, I don't like people, like, sleeping on my couch. I don't want no dent in my couch. I want to enjoy my couch. I can lay on the couch. You can't lay on the couch as often as I can. It's my couch. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. Cali Carl. Now, the main thing about Cali Carl, I ain't going to lie. Oh, they all out here kicking it. Yeah, they got the whole gang out here. Carlton got some hops, though. Watch this. You guys are going to be very excited. 